Hey guys, it's me, Risa. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious and nutritious Thai sauce because that's part one of my recipe. And then I'm going to do another video to teach you how to make a delicious Thai quinoa salad or quinoa bowl, whatever you want to call it. All right. So this will be the dressing and then you can use it for the next video. I figured this way, when you're looking up Thai sauce, you'll be able to find it very easily. And the great thing is, you know my favorite word besides delicious, what is it? Versatile. So you can use it on the quinoa salad, but you can use it on pasta, on just veggies, in rice, and use your imagination, okay? So uh, let's get started. I'm going to tell you the ingredients and then we're going to make it, all right? So I love PB2. Um, for two tablespoons, it's one smart point. You can use regular peanut butter, just to count for the smart points, but this is rich in flavor and I buy it at the low carb grocery store and you can find it in lots of different stores. I'm going to use a pinch of some pink Himalayan salt, a tablespoon of some rice vinegar, and you can double or triple this recipe, about a teaspoon of some light soy. Now, I found this sugar-free honey, a tablespoon. If you don't have sugar-free honey and you want to use a tablespoon of regular honey, you can do that just to count for the smart points. Um, you can use uh, different... Um, options as well regular honey you can use uh swerve stevia uh syrup joseph syrup i love it's a nice thick syrup so that's another option one tablespoon and a teaspoon of some sesame oil which is two smart points all right so that's three smart points the other thing is you can either use water or i thought i would use some light coconut milk and for a quarter cup, it's two smart points. So the whole thing is five smart points. Let me make sure. One, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So five smart points, um, or you can use water. We're going to see. And I just grated up about a teaspoon of some fresh ginger and some fresh garlic, a teaspoon each or so. And if you like more, you can use more. All right, so I have my peanut butter here, pay it powder, and I'm gonna just start adding in the coconut milk. One, two, and I'm gonna just mix it and see the consistency of the peanut butter. Yeah, I'm gonna use all of it. So perfectly a quarter cup, and I'm going to, you know I use my fingers because I'm the only one going to be eating this. All right, and then I'm going to put in my vinegar, a tablespoon of rice vinegar, and my honey. I want to just make sure I get all of it, so I'm going to get my spatula. So one tablespoon, and this is sugar-free, but again, for those of you that don't like sugar-free, use regular honey. And then I've already added my soy sauce to my uh, sesame oil because I didn't want to forget it. And you know me, sometimes I forget these things. So I'm just going to mix that up. Add my garlic and my ginger. And I'll put in a little bit of some Himalayan salt. And then I'm going to whisk that up. And if you want it a little bit thinner, you can add more um, milk or some water. And if you don't want the smart points um, with the coconut milk, you can just add some water to it, okay? But this will give it a nice, delicious, rich taste to whatever you're adding it to. Again, if you like more garlic or you like more 
uh, ginger, you can add that, all right? You like a little bit more vinegar. You like a little bit more peanut butter. Let's taste. Mm. I taste the ginger. It is delicious. Okay, so this is it. That was it for this recipe. Super easy and delicious. Not that many ingredients, not difficult. I like things that are easy, that you can make quickly. And uh, this would even be just good as a dip. Oh my God, it is yum. So um, I hope you love this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell. You'll get all my new videos by email. And you can access my old videos on Risa Weiner until they get transferred to my new channel. All right. And please comment and share with everyone. They don't have to be on WW to enjoy all of these videos and tips. Remember, I have grocery shopping, I have meal planning, meal prepping, and uh, breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts, holidays, all right? So check out all my videos, and I love you guys, and I hope you enjoy this delicious Thai sauce. Bye for now.